In this tutorial, we'll install Nginx, configure the firewall, and set up an Nginx server block specific to the domain. We will then install a certificate with Let's Encrypt to enable encrypted traffic through the Nginx server. Install Nginx with sudo apt get install Nginx. Next, modify the firewall settings to open up necessary ports on the server using the UFW configuration tool. Type sudo UFW allow open SSH, sudo UFW allow HTTP, and sudo UFW allow HTTPS. The common port numbers could be referenced by name, so HTTP and HTTPS could be 80 and 443. Additionally, we want to allow port 4000 to run the Phoenix app before setting up port forwarding with Nginx. To confirm the firewall updates, run sudo ufw enable and confirm. So with port 80 open, check the status of Nginx server with systemctl status Nginx. You will see the confirmation that it is active and running. If not, you can start it with systemctl start nginx. So now when you go to your domain name, you will see the default nginx HTML page. The default configuration settings are in etc nginx sites available default file. The actual HTML page being rendered is in var www HTML folder. The actual file is usually called index.html. In this case, however, it is something else. So after checking the contents of the HTML folder, you can modify the file to confirm that it is actually what is being rendered. Here, I will just make a simple change. So after saving the file and restarting the server with systemctl restart nginx command, you can confirm that the changes took effect by reloading the page, which should now include the updates. What we're going to do next is create a folder specific to your domain that will be used to define specific configurations in what is called a separate server block. Type sudo mkdar-p and the path to the new configuration directory that includes the name of your domain. Now change ownership of the directory to the current account. Next, update the permissions on the folder to 755 which will allow reads and execution to any user. Now we can create an index.html file for testing in the new folder. This could be just some simple HTML and will only be used to confirm that the separate server block settings are taking effect. With that in place, I'm going to copy the settings from the default file to omgineering.com. Now I'm going to edit with vim, or rather sudo vim, if I actually want the changes to persist. So what we want to do here is to remove all the default server specifications, since this will be domain specific and not the default. Then in the root configuration, specify your domain folder that we just created, and in the server name configuration, add your domain name as well as www.yourdomainname so that the configuration will match both of those. Save and quit. Next, we need to create a symbolic link from etc nginx sites available on engineering.com to etc nginx sites enabled. This is what runs when the server starts up and loads the configurations for all server blocks. Now, there is a recommendation to enable the server name hash bucket size setting in the Nginx configuration itself, which as I understand is optional and is only really necessary if your server is handling a large number of server blocks. But here it is anyway. Confirm that the syntax in the settings is correct with sudo nginx t and restart nginx with sudo systemctl restart nginx. Now, after reloading the domain name page, you can see the HTML that was created specific to this domain, which means the specific server block configuration is taking effect. 
What that means is, and why this is a good idea, is that you can define multiple domain names for a single IP address, which means your server could run a number of web applications. And additionally, if you just type in your server IP address into the URL, you will see that the default server block configuration is what is being rendered and not the domain specific one. Next, we're going to secure the server traffic by adding a secure certificate with the help of CertBot. This will make all the traffic encrypted, allowing you to safely add account management and other features to your web application. Add the CertBot repository by typing sudo add apt repository ppa colon certbot slash certbot and press enter. Now sudo apt install python certbot nginx. With that installed, you can now run sudo certbot dash dash nginx dash d omgineering.com and dash d www.omgineering.com. This will create a certificate specific to your domain name and will update your Nginx configuration. Provide your email address to receive things like expiration warnings and agree to the terms. CertBot will go through some tests to be sure you actually own the specified domain name. And after that, you will be given an option to either run both secure and non-secure versions of your applications or redirect all non-secure traffic to the secure port. So of course, choose option two. And that's it. The secure certificate is installed and renewing it is as simple as running sudo certbot renew. I'm using dash dash dry run in this case, just to demonstrate all the renewal steps without actually getting a new certificate. Now, once again, confirm the configuration syntax and restart Nginx server with sudo systemctl restart Nginx. And now back in the browser, you can see that the server connection is now securely running under HTTPS with a new certbot certificate.